So to kind of get you started on doing mail merge, so I have a Microsoft Word document and I have a Microsoft Excel document. And these two are going to work in tandem with each other. Basically what I want is all of the students in my spreadsheet to come into a file in Microsoft Word. And you can use this a couple different ways. If you wanted to write a letter that you would insert student information into where you gave gave each student a letter and you wanted their names to fill in, you could do this. Um, if you were gonna, you have to make, set your settings a certain way. So once you get into Microsoft Word, uh, basically what you wanna do is create what's a template and you wanna create placeholders for everything, but you have to tell it what kind of mail merge you're about to do. And so um, if I wanted to would click here on mailings and I would, um, to start a mail merge and you have to choose letters, email, envelope, label, or directory. Well, if I'm creating letters, I'm gonna choose a letter, but if I wanna create like a program um, where I want just the next student to come right after the other one, then I would do a directory. You can also do labels as well. So I'm gonna do a directory for this one because I'm doing an award ceremony. So I'm going to actually go ahead and pick my spreadsheet. When you click on select recipients, you can create a new list or you can just use an existing one you already have. This is what I normally do because I probably most of the time have my data before I make my program. So um, I'm going to click use an existing list and then you just have to choose that list from your computer somewhere. So I'm gonna open that up. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna do this? Do you trust the source? Yes, I do. So I trust it. And then um, my spreadsheet has only one sheet at the bottom, but if you have multiple sheets that had names, those would show up when you go to pick your, um, your sheet. So I'm just gonna choose sheet one and I'm gonna use the entire worksheet, but you could also give it a cell range if you wanted to do that as well so you know if i wanted to say um a1 what does mine go through mine goes through a1 to e10 i could put that in there as well and just say okay and then that is my my spreadsheet that I'm gonna use. You can also filter your recipients, so you can choose to only grab certain students as long as there are fields that you can identify in that. I'm not gonna show that in this video for brevity. So now you gotta put your merge fields in. So I'm gonna select here, and what it's gonna do is grab anything that is in your first row as the column header. So you do wanna make sure that you've got headers, and I do, my first row is first, last, award one, award two, award three, etc. But you wanna make sure that your first row is your headers because that's what your merge fields are gonna look for. So I wanna come in here and put in first name, and I wanna put in last name, and then I wanna hit return, and I wanna insert award one, hit return, I wanna insert award two, hit return, insert award three, and hit return. So there are my fields. Um, now one thing I will do as well is like when I make a program, it's not always nice if the student name is like the last text on page one and their awards show up on page two. So to keep your lines together, you have to set your pagination correctly in the document. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually hit return in front of my first and last name and I'm just gonna leave a blank space here. I'm gonna select my first and last name and you can format this text as well. So if you did want that to be bold, you can. You can select your awards, format your paragraph, and you can do an indent here. You could even do line spacing. You can set it up however you want. You can choose your font. So you can do lots of things. I do wanna put a space between my first and last name. So I wanna make sure that's in there. And you can put colons, dashes, commas, whatever you need to in between your fields, okay? So I also need to put my header in here because this looks, and I only want um, this on my first page. So there we go. And I'm gonna format that. And center that, there we go. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Again, the pagination is important if you wanna keep lines together. So I'm just gonna select my first and last name, award one, award two, and award three. And I am going to format the paragraph so that my line and page breaks that these keep together. So I'm gonna say keep with next and keep lines together. Keep with next means paragraphs will stay together. Keep lines together means if there's a line break, it won't put that on the next page. 
So then I'm going to say, okay. And so now I have a space before, I have a space after, and those spaces, if you look at the paragraph formatting on that, do not have those selected. Okay. The other thing you might want to do is in my particular data set, not all students have all awards. And so if I were to run this right now, I would have a space between my two scholarships or whatever I'm doing. So I don't really want it to include the blanks. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my fields. I'm going to right click it. Whoops. Select my fields. I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to go to toggle field codes. And when you toggle the field codes, it kind of looks a little bit differently. And what I want to do in here is behind these awards, I'm going to put a forward slash B next to each of these. Forward slash B, forward slash B. And what that's going to do is basically remove any blanks. If it's blank, it's just not going to, it's going to ignore the field. Okay. And so that pretty much sums up how I need to get my fields done. So once you've got your template made, keep in mind you can always come in and design the layout of your document. You can change your orientation, portrait landscape, you can do columns, you can kind of do whatever you need to do um, to make it look pretty. And then whenever you're ready to see kind of what this is going to look like, you're going to go back to mailings. And you can preview the results, but it's only going to show you um, each one as a separate page, but that's not how it's actually going to print. So I'm going to unselect where it says preview results here, and I'm just going to say finish and merge, edit individual documents, and it's going to create my program for me. Notice that if I pull this down, my template is still behind there. So when you click finish and merge, edit individual document, what it does is creates like a copy with the data in it. So if you want to save this as something different now, you could save as, you could give it a name like final for print or whatever you want to do and that is a word document you can edit now so if there was just one little thing i wanted to fix in here i could just come in here and add something or i could fix something you know do whatever i might need to do um, to this document because it's an editable file and then i could print it so good to go if there's something wrong with it though and i don't like it or i want to change something i can just close it i cannot save it and then I can do something else to this. So maybe I wanted to make my font bigger or whatever it might be, right? And then you can say, okay, I wanna go back to my mailings and I wanna finish and merge again, and they'll just create a new copy. And so every time you do that, you get a nice clean copy that you can kind of work in. But notice I had put an asterisk in, that asterisk wasn't in my database. So when I do a new merge, it's not gonna show up. So you do need to be aware if you're making a lot of changes, it's probably better if you go to your spreadsheet and make the changes here so that if you were to merge it, it all works out. Um, just so you know, you can do um, different types of things. So you could do labels. If you buy like Avery labels um, from somewhere, you wanna read the instructions about what type of label you have, but Word will pretty much walk you through setting that up. And so that is basically mail merge. Um, done, done quickly.